Hello, my friend. You can't see me today. And it's on purpose. When you read something, pay attention. Your attention is the most valuable asset in this planet. When you stop to read something, stop and pay attention. It's obvious, it's simple, but sometimes it's hard with the amount of information, noise, notifications that are coming. Hello, my friend! How are you feeling today? Welcome back. Excellent. I love to see you here. Today we study reading. How to understand what's being said. How can I capture some signals, some words, some images and understand the text, the target audience, the goal of the writer? We're going to explore the reading ability today. I'm going to explore these books with you. But before we do it, let's isolate distractions. Please, if you can do it, close the window, close the door, leave your cell phone on airplane mode. Airplane mode. Now I am 100% focused in your progress. But before we start, <clears throat> let's just warm up. Release your arms. Rotate your shoulders. <clears throat> Five, four, three, two, one. To the front. Five, four, three, two, one. Now, we're going to do this movement here. This movement here. When you push forward, you work your chest. When you pull back, you work your back. Let's do it. Place your feet firmly on the ground and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, release your body. Now, up, up and down. You're going to do this and this. Let's go. One, two, three. Count for us, please. Five. All right. Release your arms. Now open and close your hands. Open, close, open, close, open, close. See that when you open, you open very fast. Open, close, open, close. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Release your body. And now let's stretch up and let's count. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Release your body. Now let's stretch to the front. We are getting ready to learn, my friend. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, All right. Now let's do our breathing exercise. We breathe in. We hold and we breathe out. Let's go. Breathe in. Breathe out. Let's start this book here. When you see the cover, I'm not sure if you can recognize, but this logo here is from Nike. So if I know that this is Nike logo, I see the book and I understand that Probably this is the story of Nike, but let me read the, the original version of this book is called Shoe Dog, but when they translated to Portuguese, they put the brand of victory, the self biography of Nike founder. Oh, when I see self-biography, I understand that this book is about the life of Phil Knight. Next, this one. Exponential organizations. Why are they 10 times better, faster and cheaper than yours? And what you can do about it? Exponential organizations. Is this book talking about health, business, or education? It's talking about business. This one, Brazilian writer Augusto Cury. Twenty golden rules to educate sons and students. Is this book talking about education, health or security? Of course, it's talking about education. Open leadership. How social technology can transform the way you lead. 
Is this book, the name explains, is this book talking about the future? Transportation or relationships? It's talking about relationships. The entrepreneur myth. The entrepreneur myth. Why many businesses fail. What can you do to win? Is this book talking about entrepreneurship, health, or history? It's talking about entrepreneurship. Viktor Frankl, Man's Search for Meaning. This book is nice. Is this book talking about personal development? It's talking about finance? Or is it talking about education? Yes, my friend. This one. We have this book at voceaprendeagora.com. The 21 Irreftable Laws of Leadership. Is this book talking about health? Public transportation? Or leadership? Yes, it's talking about leadership. Another book we have at voceaprendeagora.com. 13 things mentally strong people don't do. How to overcome self-destruction, self-destructive attitudes and face the struggles. Is this book talking about finance? Entrepreneurship or mental health? Yes, it's talking about mental health. This one. Faster and better. Is this book talking about performance? Talking about Poems? Or is it talking about history? Yes, my friend, it's talking about performance. Let's analyze these other books here. At the end of the class, we continue with them. Let's go! Are you prepared? Here we go. Three, two, one. Hello, my friend. Let's see how we can read and understand the main idea of that text or that image. Nowadays, the reading ability is not only for words. It's for images, too. And let's start with an image. Have a look at this image here. You see this image here. By seeing the image, you can understand that this person is talking to an audience. This person is talking to an audience. Now, let's see a post from a social network. Let's see what is this person trying to say. With the image, we can see, 
when the image and the sentence, we can see that this person was trying to inspire us with the sentence. Now, let's see something without image. All right. Now, we don't have images, but from the title, I can take the topic. This text is probably talking about health, talking about the importance of taking care of our health. Now let's see another image. All right. Now, when I see this image, I understand that the audience is kids. The company that sells this product wants to attract the kids' attention. This company here doesn't want to attract adults' attention. They want to attract the kids' attention. You see, different texts, different styles, different images. Each one has its audience, its goals. And as readers, we can understand it by paying attention, by seeing the context. Okay? How often do you read? I invite you to read some of our classes at voceaprendeagora.com. Three, two, one. Hello, my friend. Let's see here how to get the message of a text. How to see and understand the audience of that text. We must pay attention. When we have images, it's easier. But when it's only text, we focus on title and the first lines. If you want to see the result of that question or that issue, you read the last paragraph that often gives us a conclusion. Let me prepare the board. Oops, sorry me. Reading. How to understand the message and the audience. When I am writing something, I'm writing something to someone. When I prepare this class, I prepare this class to you, for you. It's thought to give you the tools you need to improve your English. One moment, please. Now, let's suppose you were surfing on the web and you see a title like this. Pets have become part of the family. First thing, let's see the cognates, words that are similar in Portuguese and English. Pets, part. Family. Pets have become part of the family. Is this text going 
to talk about. A. Dogs and cats. B. Food. C. Education. Pets have become part of the family. What's the right answer? This article is going to talk about A. Dogs and cats. B. Food. Or C. Education. Easy, right? Comment your answer here. Now, another title. Anxiety and the use of cell phones. Let's see the cognates. Anxiety, cell phones, use. Is this article talking about a. Climate change. B. Future. C. Stress. Anxiety in the use of cell phones. Is this article going to talk about A. Climate change, B. Future or C. Stress. Kevin here. Now, let me share with you an image, the cover of a magazine I read. Check this image. What can you get from this image? New scientist. The pursuit of happiness. What it means to be happy and how to get better at it. I also want to share with you, to read with you, part of this report. Listen to this. Can we learn to be happy? We know how to behave to increase the chances of a long, healthy life. If you drink alcohol in moderation, don't smoke. Follow a good diet with plenty of vegetables. Take half an hour of exercise a day and aim to have eight hours of sleep a night. You are more likely to live into your 80s. But is it possible to prescribe a happy lifestyle too? Over the past two decades, scientists studying positive psychology have identified many techniques to raise our happiness from its current baseline. These methods cannot work miracles. Things like poverty or trauma are obviously going to affect your well-being. But for many of us, our happiness is much more under our control than we think. How can you improve your happiness? What are the things that disturb your peace that you can leave behind? My friend, take out the backpacks that are not useful anymore. Okay, I am here to serve you. Three, two, one. Hello, my friend. You can't see me today. And it's on purpose. When you read something, 
pay attention. Your attention is the most valuable asset in this planet. When you stop to read something, stop and pay attention. It's obvious, it's simple, but sometimes it's hard with the amount of information, noise, notifications that are coming. Pay attention. Okay? What can you see in this image? What can you absorb when you see this image? Breathe, my friend. I am here to serve you. And I brought you here to see this amazing sunset. Thank God. Enjoy the nature. Three, two, one. Yes, we're finishing one more class. And I love when we come to this moment. You know what it means to me. It means you're progressing. It means you're growing. And I always tell you that progress means happiness. And the progress can be slow. No problem. It still is progress. Very good. Congratulations, my friend. Let's analyze these ones here. I just show you, read the cover and you tell me what the book is about. TED Talks, the official guide to public speaking. What is this book talking about? Who is the audience of this book? The audience of this book is people who speak in public. The secrets of the millionaire mind. Who wants to read this book? People like me who want to have money. <laughs> people who want to learn the strategies of successful people. From zero to one. What you can learn about entrepreneurship with the Silicon Valley. The Silicon Valley is a technology region in California, United States of America. So people who are involved in technology, in startups, in growing companies are very interested in this topic. Literature as a medicine, the classics and the health of your soul. What is this book talking about? I believe, I, I haven't read this book. This is the only book that I haven't read. I believe this book's talking about literature, poems, maybe. Dan Brown. point of impact. What is this book talking about? When we see this, we understand that this is something cold. This is, what's the name of that? That has iceberg, iceberg. This is an iceberg. It's the sea, it's very cold. It's a story. This book's nice. 
The Weapons of Persuasion. We also have this book that você aprende agora. What is this book talking about? How to influence persuasion. Learner by chance. This book here is written by this Hindi writer. Very nice. I paid 10 reais for this book. It's nice. Imagine if your life changed in an instant. The biggest secret of the world. Agmandino. The new and extraordinary book that opened the doors to a world of personal happiness and lasting accomplishments. This book talks about personal development, history or future. Personal development. Gary Chapman, another book. The Five Languages of Love. We also have this book at Você Aprende Agora. What is this book talking about? Love? Education? Or health? Love, of course. Public Speaking for Success. What is this book talking about? It's talking about public speaking. And this one here. The Holy Bible. What is this book talking about? Remember, when you read something, try to see images, style, words, they will indicate the topic of the text. When you write something, think about your reader. Who is my audience? What is my goal with my text? How can I engage my reader? I'm waiting for you at voceaprendeagora.com. Thank you very much. I am Felipe Gibi. See you next class.